In today's video, I'm going to show you how to properly cook spaghetti squash because I didn't know how to do it the first time I did it. First things first, you want to preheat the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and then get in and you want to cut it in half, but I'm going to cut it on an angle because there's no way you're going to cut through the core here. That wasn't too even of a cut. Hopefully when you do it, you cut it in half better than I did. Then, we're going to take a spoon, and we're going to scoop out the seeds here like you're carving a pumpkin. And that's what it'll look like when you're all done. Nicely scooped out. I'm gonna do the other half and then we'll come back. Okay, so now that we got both halves de-seeded, what you wanna do is you wanna dress it. So, you wanna take some olive oil. I like to use extra virgin olive oil. And you drizzle it on top, just slightly. too much then take some pepper you can also use salt but I don't use salt I'm gonna get that just nicely coated the inside there got quite a bit in that one and then just take some salt or I mean some pepper and your salt if you want to use salt and just sprinkle it on the insides and then you want to put them face down <laughs> and 
and then you want to throw them in the oven for 45 minutes roughly and until the outside is tender and you can check that by using a fork and just stabbing it in and seeing if it's tender. So we'll go over and put that in. Okay, so they're still a little hot, so I'm gonna use tongs to hold it. We let them sit for about 10 minutes. And now all you do is you just take a fork and you just scrape it out and it makes itself into spaghetti strands. And that's literally all you gotta do. And you get spaghetti squash. And then when it's all said and done, this is what your skins are going to look like. Basically everything comes out, except for that little bit at the top where the core is. And that's roughly how much you get outside of one of these spaghetti squash. This is a great way to cut down carbs and calories if you're looking to lose weight or shed down some body fat. Also, it is a perfect replacement for pasta. You can just put your spaghetti sauce on top of it, and it's pretty much, to me, tastes the exact same as spaghetti noodles and everything, so, yeah.